Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Shruti. And I'm Dre. And together we are Beauty and the Beard. So today we're watching Avatar. So today we're jumping back into Avatar The Last Airbender for Season 1, Episode 12, The Storm. Let's get right into it. Let's do it. <laughs> Watch that face. Man, uh, oh, oh. Sokka's right in it. Sick. <gasps> no, bro, what? he's dreaming. He is dreaming. I need hey. you too. Momo don't fly. And Momo's not that big. Right. Be careful, guys. Guys. Giazzo. Uh oh. Did you disappear? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? It's nothing. I just had a bad dream. Go back to sleep. You don't have to tell me twice. You want to tell me about it? I think I just need some rest. You guys want to hear about my dream? That's okay. I didn't want to talk about it anyway. Guys, wait. This was in my dream. We should. What happened in your dream? Food eats people. Also. Oh no. Bruh, Fire Nation. What? There is a storm coming. Okay, oh, my. I thought you smelled Aang. You I was like, mind, Uncle. The weather's perfect. Aang, oh, the toilet. <laughs> yeah. The storm is approaching from the north. Prince Zuko, consider the safety of the crew. The safety of the crew doesn't matter. Uh -uh. <laughs> the avatar is far more important. I don't know if I like the sound of that swishing. Swishing means it's ripe. It's the ripe juices swishing around, huh? I think it's true, Katara. Swishing means it's ripe. <laughs> anyway. Oh! Now the money. Now what are we supposed to do? You could get a job, smart guy. So if kick it, yes. Maybe we should find some shelter. Are you kidding? Shelter from what? My joints say there's going to be a storm! A bad one. Him. Then I'll find a new fish hauler and pay him double what you get. How you like that? I'll go. You're hired. <laughs> what? You said get a job. You Please did. Double. Double? Who told you that <laughs> nonsense? Huh. Looks like your uncle was right about the storm after all. Bro, that's I insane. Guess. Lieutenant, <laughs> you gotta <laughs> learn some respect. What do you know about respect? Oh, you see. The way you talk to everyone around here shows you know nothing about respect. <sighs> you don't care about anyone but yourself. Thanks. Then again, what should I expect from a spoiled prince? Wow, you pushing it, bro. Enough. We're all a bit tired from being at sea so long. I'm sure after a bowl of noodles, everyone will feel much better. You should listen to him. Who did that? Boy with tattoos. Airbender tattoos. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be a hog monkey's uncle. You're the avatar, ain't you? That's right. Well, don't be so smiley about it. <laughs> the avatar disappeared for a hundred years. Don't yell at him. Aang would never turn his back on anyone. Oh, he wouldn't, huh? Then I guess I must have imagined the last hundred years of war and suffering. Aang is the bravest person I know. Aang, what's wrong? Here he goes, disappearing again. That's right, keep flying! You're a horrible old man. Yeah. Your friends ain't too polite, are they? I know! This one time I was- Yeah, 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 yeah. Get below ah! deck. <laughs> Nobody, wants Nobody wants to hear it. Nobody wants to hear it. Oh my god, same scenario. Riding Apple in a storm. Don't want Katara getting caught in the right. iceberg. Well, she might be able to she'll waterbend be, she'll it. Be able to, yeah. I don't want to talk about it. It has to do with your dream, doesn't it? Yes, oh. ma'am. Well, it's kind of a long story. I'll never forget the day the monks told me I was the Avatar. Oh, flashback! I was playing with some other kids just outside the south wall. I was trying to teach them how to do the air scooter. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! OK, 
Okay, here goes. Oh. 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 You kind of have to balance on it like it's the top. Man. Wow. Hard. Where'd you learn that trick, Aang? I made it up. Wow. We have known you were the Avatar for some time. Do you what remember? What's the guy from uh, Revenge of the Nerds? Those were some of my favorite toys when I was little. You chose them from among thousands of toys, Aang. The toys you picked were the four Avatar relics. Normally, we would have told you of your identity when you turned 16. But there Boy. are troubling signs. <clears throat> Storm clouds are gathering. It's a lot of pressure on a 12-year-old, bro. Four years before he's supposed to know? I'm tired of chasing his Avatar. I mean, who does Zuko think he is? Try to understand. My nephew is a complicated young man. He has okay. been through much. When he used to have hair. Let me in. Prince Zuko. <laughs> His little voice. Let me in. I want to go into the war chamber, but the guard won't let me pass. You're not missing anything. Trust me. Thank you, Uncle. The Earth Kingdom defenses are concentrated here. How do you expect them to defeat a powerful Earth Kingdom battalion? I don't. Just to test They're your strength? Used as a distraction. Oh, wow. What better to use as bait than fresh meat? Jeez. You sacrifice an entire division like that? Those soldiers love and defend our nation. How can you betray them? Bro, you were not supposed to open your mouth. Nevertheless, stand up. was right, you see. And there were dire consequences. <laughs> How to give him pink eye. So you were upset that you were the avatar? <laughs> That's true. Why wouldn't you be excited about it? Uh, not only that, air scooter. we made up a game you can play with the air scooters. Great. What's going on? But I'm still the same. Nothing's changed. So what? I can't play? That's the only fair way. Oh, okay. Okay, now who wants to have Jinju on their team? <laughs> ah! Looking like Pigpen and Charlie Brown. What do you mean? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> the Avatar should be training. <clears throat> Aang has already trained enough for today. Time is short. Come with me. I must test you on some high-level techniques. Bruh. Fire Lord became very angry with him. He said that Prince Zuko's challenge of the general was an act of complete disrespect. But Zuko misunderstood. When he turned to face his opponent, he was surprised to see it was not the general. Zuko had spoken out against the general's plan. So he had fight his father? Zuko yeah. would have to do his own father. Jesus. Wow. Then, just when I was starting to feel better, something worse happened. Gyatso, I know you mean well, but you are letting your affection for the boy cloud your judgment. All I want is what is best for him. Look at that. You and Aang must be separated. The wow. The way to the Eastern Air Temple to complete his training. That is awful. I don't know what to say. How could they do that to me? They wanted to take away everything I knew and everyone I loved. Whoa, hot centers. I'm sorry I got so mad. I was afraid and confused. I didn't know what to do. Hey, I'm not going to let them That's take letter. you away from me. Waking up in your arms after you found me in the iceberg. And then the Fire Nation attacked our temple. My people needed me and I wasn't there to help. You don't know what would have the world needed me and I wasn't there to help. Aang, the fisherman was right. If you had stayed, you would have been killed along with all the other airbenders. You don't know that. I know it's meant to be this way. The world needs you now. Hmm. 
You give people hope. Oh no. Please, father. I only had the Fire Nation's best interest at heart. I'm sorry I spoke out of turn. You will fight for your honor. I meant you no disrespect. I won't fight you. You will learn respect. And suffering will be your teacher. Jesus. No way. I always thought that Prince Zuko was in a training accident. It was no accident. After the duel, the Fire Lord said that by refusing to fight... And he got banished anyway! Banished. And Bruh. to capture the Avatar. Only well, no wonder he's obsessed. Turn with his honor. So that's <laughs> why he's so obsessed. The Avatar gives Zuko hope. That's right. So both of y'all got some crazy trouble past, man. Help! Oh, please help! If they haven't returned, they should have been back by now. And this storm is becoming a typhoon. Oh, Aang. We need to talk. to find them. I'm going with you. I'm staying here. <laughs> she didn't even debate. Where were we hit? I don't know. Look. Wow. Oh, look at his hair. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> This ship to safety. Wow. Directly into the eye of the storm. I was too young to die. Zuko's maturing. But I still don't wanna. Wow. Hang on to the rope. He used the water to split the wood. Eyes open this time. Gotta do another air bubble. Oh! Ho, ho! So they could fly or travel underwater now, babe. Come That's on! Crazy. That air bubble, anything's possible. Now. That's crazy! You owe this boy an apology. He does and double the pay. <laughs> oh, no. I just instead of an apology, uh, I give a free fish and we call it even. Actually, I don't eat meat. It's oh. fish. Katara, I think you were right before. I'm done dwelling on the past. Really? I can't make guesses about how things would have turned out if I hadn't run away. Mm. I'm here now and I'm going to make the most of it. I don't waste time on hypotheticals anymore. Thank you for saving my life. Abby. Wow. Full circle. Do you hear that? It stopped raining. Like in our party. That's what you said wasn't happen before. That was good. That was yes. Good. That was good. Another great episode. But that was really interesting to see the backstories. Because I knew Prince, like, I remember them saying Prince Zuko was... Or maybe it was when we watched the live action, but I remember hearing that Prince Zuko had incurred an injury, not it being just Samurai Pinkai, you know? Mm. So, so when I saw that story, and I'm like, and when, when I'm like, okay, so they're doing a trial by combat type shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, against your pops, bro? No way. No way. I mean, I know you gotta fight him, but like, what happens if you actually land a blow or you make him bleed? You know, you're gonna feel terrible, you know? So the fact that, oh, it sucks that. His actual speaking, 
his actual speaking up got him kicked out. Right, exactly. You speak up, you get beat up, and then kicked out. It's like, bro, like, it was... Like, you gotta it was a, hold it was a, your tongue. It was literally, it was double the punishment. And what's crazy is the guy, it's almost like when they were saying in... Um, Shogun, all the guys anxious for war, the guys who have never swung their swords. You know what I'm saying? So, like, he's trying to, I'm trying to get into the war room. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, okay, you know what? You're not missing anything. But if you must go in there, keep quiet. Man stands up and proclaims. Da, 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 da. He's like, uh. So that means you're ready for war. And that's it. It doesn't matter if you're the guy's son or not. And if you're ready for war, it's time to go up against a general. Bruh, bun your eye out, <laughs> lift your bald and kick you out. Like, come <laughs> on. Like, that's crazy. That's but the way all of your good things. It's true. All of all of, all of of your distinguishing qualities. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, the thing that I did also did like was that with Aang, like, the story progresses so, like, like, remove his powers. It's almost like Godzilla minus one. Even if you remove Godzilla from the movie, it was an incredible movie. Right. Even if you remove Aang's powers, he is still an incredible kid with an incredible kind of story. Right. And it's because of his mind and his heart working in synchronicity on that level that he's able to face these situations and then overcome them. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, literally, imagine being told you are Neo at 12 years old. Like it's like yo, I just wanted to, uh, I just want to buy some freezies and some sip sacks from the corner store. I don't, I don't want to save the world. I don't want to be our defense force. You know what All I'm right. saying? And then, to, and then you come back, and everybody who you were supposed to protect is dead and gone. Like, bro, the emotional strength that you would have, the emotional resilience that you'd have to have to get over, to get over something that happened when you weren't there to save them. Oof, that's levels. Aang is on a different level. But I love the way it's progressing. I love the way it's gone so far. And we can't wait to get on to the next one. So thank you all for joining us for the latest episode of Avatar The Last Airbender. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to subscribe. Let us know what you thought about the latest episode down in our comments. And be sure to go over to our Patreon to check out our full-length uncut reaction. Or stop by simply to support our channel. I'm sure it is. And I'm Drake for Beauty and the Beard. We'll sign you off until the next one. Peace.